One thing that we looked at is how we can support the AINTHIS membership to be able to engage in Erasmus Plus Key Action 1 mobility funding. The funding process is quite laborious in terms of the administration. So we look to developing a consortium. We took on the administrative role, but we extended the opportunities to our members to be able to take up different learning, job shadowing, conference attending opportunities across Europe. Through these different projects, community education organisations were able to send a member of their staff to a different European country. And the impact that that had was sharing skills of what's happening in Ireland, but also taking back the skills that the participants had gained through this experience. Ultimately, it's about ensuring that community education learners get the best possible quality provision. And we believe of sharing expertise and experience at EU level really helps that. I'm Denise Shannon and I work in Lergus. The K1 Mobility Project is a staff mobility project under Erasmus Plus. It's for um, adult educators to do uh, courses, job shadowing or um, teaching assignments in another European country, in another organisation. Um, and it offers people the opportunity to network and learn about other education systems um, across Europe. My name is Suzanne Kyle and I work with AINTIS. Um, I coordinate the National Community Education Network. A lot of people, CEN members, come back from the mobility and they realise um, after the mobility how well they're doing in their own organisation as well. And that's of huge value to, to organisations because sometimes we don't have the time to appreciate um, the, the work that is done and organisations sometimes don't have that time. So they find that very valuable. My name is Ray Hegarty. I work for the SAIL project, which is a project for women with addiction issues. It's a women-only project in the north in the city of Dublin. And we went on a placement to the Women's Network in Belfast. And I think what we learned was a consideration of the way, different ways people learn and to be aware of uh, different learning styles. So to be a, have an awareness of how to bring the group along all together and uh, not have anybody to be excluded as such. My name is Alison, I work in business in the community Ireland and I travel to Palermo in Sicily to visit some different groups and different organisations that work around social inclusion for migrants and particularly for refugees. Already I've started to try and do things in a slightly more informal way because I could see that that was helpful for the migrants in Palermo. So I have a couple more drop-in appointments, a couple more evening appointments or things with more of a social focus. Taking our time and having that slightly more informal focus every now and again will be a change for us but it'll be a really good change. I'm Barry Dolan. I work for Blaney Blades in Monon. I travelled to uh, Holland as part of an educational tour to Vitesse Arnhem. For myself and regarding Blaney Blades, a lot of the stuff that we already do regarding the adult learner was implemented there in Holland. And I suppose that in itself has reinforced our belief in what we do and how we do it. I suppose taking uh, certain aspects from Holland and from Vitesse Arnhem, again, to incorporate a more relaxed feel. Every learner is unique, every football player is unique, and for that end of things, I suppose, to keep tailoring our workload that will actually suit them and help them progress. 